Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Hobay the BB. This video of mine is about ringworm of the body which is also called as tinea carporis in our medical terminology. Earlier I posted a short overview about this illness on my channel. I hope you have already seen that video. Today I am going to present this illness in detail. Well, it is a rash caused by a fungal infection. It is usually a red, itchy, circular rash with clearer skin in the middle. Ringworm gets its name because of its appearance. There is no involvement of worms. Ringworm of the body is related to athlete's foot. That is uh, also called as tinea pedis in our uh, uh, medical termino terminology. Well, uh, on my channel, Hobbit BB, I have already posted a video uh, about Tinea Peters, a short video and a detailed video as well. So if you have not seen that video already, uh, you can see that video on Tinea Peters. Okay. And this type of fungal infection is uh, also is from the same or, uh, type of organism which uh, causes Tinea cruris, uh, which is commonly known as chalk itch. And a ring and there is another infection that is a ringworm of the scalp, which is also known as tinea capitis. On both of uh, on both of these illnesses, uh, I mean tinea cruris and ringworm of the scalp, I have already uh, uploaded videos on my channel. You can see that. And today I'm uh, I'm going to discuss about tinea carporis, which is a fungal infection from the same type of organism that involves uh, the body, okay? Uh, ringworm often spreads by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected person or animal. Mild ringworm often responds to, anti responds to antifungal medication that you apply to your skin. For most severe infection, you may need to take antifungal pills for several weeks. Now, let me tell you the symptoms. Signs and symptoms of ringworm may include a scaly ring-shaped area typically on the buttocks, trunk, arms, and legs. Uh, it may itch also. Uh, a, clear, a clear or scaly area inside the ring, perhaps with the scattering of red bumps. So, I mean, there is a clear area usually in the middle, so that's why it is known as uh, ring foam because of its appearance. Also, there may be slightly raised expanding, ring, expanding rings around flat flat patch of itchy skin and there may be uh, some overlapping of rings okay i mean you can see some multiple rings uh, uh, on the body which are overlapping with each other you should talk to your doctor if you have a rash that does not begin to improve within two weeks of using an over-the-counter antifungal product you may need prescription medi medication in case of uh, severe infection okay now let me tell you the causes. Ringworm is a contagious fungal infection caused by common mold-like mold parasites that live on the cells in the outer layer of your skin. It can be spread in, in different ways, which I should tell you. I mean, now I'm going to tell you the modes of transmission. The first is human to human. Ringworm often spreads by direct skin to skin contact with an infected person. And it can also be spread from animal to human. You can contract ringworm by touching an animal with ringworm. Ringworm can spread while petting or grooming dogs or cats. It is also fairly common in cows. Uh, another mode of transmission is object to human. It is possible for ringworm to spread by contact with objects or surfaces that an infected person or animal has re recently touched or rubbed against, such as clothing, towels, bedding, and linens, combs, and brushes soil to human in rare cases ringworm can be uh, can be spread to human by contact with infected soil infection would most likely occur only from prolonged contact with highly infected soil okay now i should tell you the risk factors you are at greater risk of ringworm of the body if you live in a warm climate or if you have close contact with an infected person or animal, or if you share clothing, bedding, or towels with someone who has a fungal infection, or if you participate in sports that feature skin-to-skin -skin contact such as wrestling, or if you wear tight or restrictive clothing, 
uh, also if in case of a weak immune system uh, there is a more risk for these type of fungal infections okay now let me tell you the complications a fungal infection rarely spreads below the sur uh, surface of the skin to cause serious illness but people with weak, weak immune system such as those with hiv or aids may find it difficult to get rid of the infection now let me tell you some of the preventive measures a ringworm is difficult to prevent the fungus that causes it causes it is common and the condition is contagious even before symptoms appear take take steps to reduce the risk of ringworm now i am going to tell you some steps which if you adopt then you can prevent this ringworm infection first of all you should educate yourself and others be aware of the risk of ringworm from infected people or pets tell your children about ringworm what to watch for and how to avoid infection keep clean wash your hands of often keep shared areas clean especially in schools child care centers gyms and locker rooms if you participate in contact sports shower right after practice or a match and keep your uniform and gear clean stay cool and dry do not wear thick clothing for long periods of time in warm humid weather humid weather uh, avoid excessive sweating okay because this uh, this fungi usually spreads in warm and humid climate so if you are sweating profusely then there are more chances of uh, uh, this fungal infection so it's better to stay cool and dry okay also you should avoid infected animals the infection often looks like a patch of skin where fur is missing if you have pets or other animals ask your vet doctor to check them for ringworm okay then the, uh, another preventive measure is that you should not share personal items do not let others use your clothing towels hair brushes sports gears or other personal items and do not borrow such things so these are the uh, preventive measures if you adopt them well then you can prevent uh, uh, these fungal infections now i will tell you about the diagnosis of ringworm uh, well when the patients come to us usually it is easy to diagnose this condition just by looking at the skin bec uh, and because there is a usually typical appearance or there is a, some um uh, overlapping of ring worms okay uh, appearing appearings on the skin okay sometimes if it is difficult to diagnose then we may take skin scraping from the affected area so that they can be examined under a microscope okay now let me tell you the treatment uh if over the counter treatments don't work you may need prescription strength antifungal medications such as a lotion cream or ointment that you apply to the affected skin if your uh, infection is particularly severe or extensive then we might prescribe antifungal pills well regarding the creams uh, uh, i as i uh, told you in previous fungal infection uh, videos there are some good um, fung antifungal medications i mean creams and ointments are available Uh, such as clotrimazole which comes with the name of lotrimin af and that is also effective uh, i mean uh, effective med medication against these type of uh, ringworm infections and there is uh, another medicine which uh, come uh, which is terbinafin and i have prescribed so much uh, this 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 medicine to so many of my patients and this terbinafin comes with the name of lamisil Uh, and that is these medication which i am telling you are available in prescription strength i mean if the infection is severe then you you may need prescription strength uh, medication and then you have you have to apply for 2 to 3 2 3 weeks okay or even more but as i told you if there are severe infection then the there um, then we may prescribe this tablets or i um, mean pills for these type of fungal infections and these also i mean terbinafin uh, which comes with the name of lamisil uh, has uh, also uh, also tablets also i mean with the same name okay so uh, this was my video about uh, ringworm of the body i mean tinea 
carporus i hope you have liked this video and if you have questions about uh, this illness or any other illness if you want me to make a video about a particular illness although there are so many videos about different illnesses on my channel and there are playlists separate playlist okay and you can watch all those videos and but i'm just saying that if you are suffering from any infection or if you can't find a video about a particular disease then you can let me know and i will if i find a time i'll try to make a video about your illness and uh, if if i don't find a time i'll try to reply to your comment as soon as possible because almost every comment is uh, replied by me uh, as soon as i see it thank you for watching this video see you in next video bye for now